What's going on everybody? Doran here from Not Easily Broken. In this video, we're gonna talk about romantic love versus real love. Coming right up. So what is the difference between romantic love and real love? Most people consider love or think about love, define love based on emotions, based on how they feel. And the truth is romantic love is driven by feelings and by emotions. I mean guys, this is one of the reasons why people get hooked up in relationship and it's also one of the reasons why people break up because of emotion. We, we, we have feelings for each other and then you wake up one day and you kind of feel like this person is not the right one for you anymore and poof, the relationship is done, it's over. They move on to the next person. Is that really love? Is that what love looks like? Just because you catch feelings for someone, it doesn't mean that those feelings are forever. They're not going to always last. When the chemistry and the attraction often dry up at times, people often just give up on the relationship. They just decided that it's over, I'm done. I'm not into you, we don't have any connection. This is not working out the way I expected and bam, the relationship is over. But true love is the commitment and the discipline that contributes to the relationship survival. Romance is a part of love, but guys, love can continue without romance. And on the other hand, romance won't last long without love. So let us dig deep into it. Let, let's discuss the difference between love and romance. Number one, romance is a feeling, but love is unconditional. Research suggests that we lose that romance feeling, that loving feeling, after at least one year to 18 months or up to three years of getting married. You know, that feeling, that buzz, that passion, that excitement, you know, that thing that just drives you all the time. It makes you want to rip each other clothes off and you can't get enough of each other. That acetocin and that bonding agent, all the chemicals that just trigger that passion, that love and that connection. You just can't keep your hands and you can't keep away from each other. That's normal in the initial stage of a love affair, in a loving relationship. But that won't last. Feeling comes and go, but unconditional love is long lasting and it is faithful. The act of love leads to feeling. The act of love leads to emotion. But love is not emotional. Love is a commitment. Love is a decision. Love is sacrifice. When you do something good for your spouse, they often respond in a very loving way. If you do something bad to your spouse, they often respond in a very mean way. It's just a natural reaction based on how we treat each other. Action leads to feelings and your feelings lead to emotion. Your feelings leads to intimacy. Your feelings leads to affection. But these can only happen when the act of love is demonstrated in the relationship. When the act of love is given regularly, it leads to these emotional feelings. But love in itself is not emotional. It has no emotion. Your feeling does not change the action. Your action changed the feelings. Number two, romance can be self-centered, but love serves. The passion of romance is always directed to our own projection and our own fantasies. It, it is really kind of like a love towards ourself and not towards another person. Romance often cater to the need and to the expectations. When a guy like a girl and go to the extreme to do things for her, to make her feel loved, to make her feel good, she think that that's really love because her mind and her emotion is into the act of service, is into the way that person is treating her. 
She also exceeds certain expectation by doing things for him that maybe she should not even be doing on the first date. Sometimes they have sex, they exchange intimate moments on the first date just because of a feeling based on the act of service that was rendered. A guy can be good to you and not necessarily good for you. A, a woman can be good to you and not necessarily good for you. So that's not love. You don't define love based on your feelings. You don't define love just based on what someone is doing for you temporarily. True love goes way beyond that. Real love is about serving from your heart. Love is really saying, guys, that I'm going to be here in the good time and the bad. These are the true words of love because love is a constant companion, even in moments when it's not easy to love, even in moments when our needs are not met. See, true love is there to take care of another person when they're sick. True love is there to add value to that person's life. True love is there when they need a shoulder to lean on. When they're at their worst, you try your very best to bring them up to their best. Th that's what true love is about. Th that's what it's really about, guys. True love is about your action. And not just short-term action where for the split second you just decided to do something nice and then all of a sudden you forget about the person, but true love is being there and showing up all the time and being for that person even in the good times and the bad. Number three, romance is momentary, but love is a lifetime. Romantic love distinguishes moments and situations within an intimate relationship. See guys, romance is like a thermometer. It, it really, it really act based on what is going on around it. One day you're in the relationship, the next day you're out. The, this moment you're up in the relationship, the next minute you're down. One moment you want to be with the person, the next moment you don't even know where you want to be. You are on again, off again. You are in, you're out. You are up, you're down. That's kind of like what romance is. That's kind of like what your feelings are. You, you, they are unrealistic. They're not reliable. This moment, you don't know what you feel. And then there's this moment that you feel everything. You're just all over the place. You, you can't rely on romance for, to build substance for a marriage. Romance is not the best tool. It's not the best thing. It's not the best way to look at love in a marriage, in a relationship. Now, love, on the other hand, is like a thermostat. You know how to set it. You know how to gauge the temperature of the relationship. A thermostat, just set it and you forget it. You made a commitment that I'm going to maintain stability. I am going to maintain commitment. I am going to maintain fidelity. I am going to maintain passion. I am going to maintain security. I'm going to maintain, you know, safety. I'm going to maintain vulnerability. I'm going to maintain communication. I am going to maintain all the things that I can because I am a thermostat. I know how to set it. I know how to gauge it and I know how to maintain it. That's the power of love. It keeps going even when it's not always easy to do. Love is a commitment. Just like a thermostat, you set it and you forget it. When you say I do to your spouse, you say, I don't to everyone else. When you say, I will to your spouse, you say, I won't to everyone else. When you say, I do, you are saying it with passion, with the reality that you are going to be there and show up even in moments when it is the last thing that you want to do. That, my friend, is a true definition of what a true love is all about. Number four. Romance is frivolous, but love, true love, it is practical. Romance is made for box office magic. <laughs> it is also responsible for divorce too. See, w w when the chemistry and the romance seems to dry up, people often give up on their relationship too. They say, I fall out of love with him. I, I fall out of love with her. Was it really love? 
Were you really committed to this relationship? True love is about the commitment and the discipline to contribute to the relationship survival. In other words, I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do. I'm doing this because I want it to work. I'm doing this because I know that we can get through whatever situation we're going through to get on the other side of this pain, the other side of this suffering, the other side of this challenge. Because life will throw things at you that you did not see coming. And it's going to take more than just your emotion and your feelings to navigate through these times. Because yes, hard times do come and it doesn't come to stay. But it's going to take the committed individual to do the best that they can to get through life. See, love is showing up. Oh my God. When showing up is not easy. Love is given when given is the last thing on your mind. Love sometimes is putting someone else first without even knowing whether they will appreciate what you do or not. Love serve unconditionally. Even in moments when the person that you're serving has a condition that you don't even like. Isn't that sound like some of our spouses? Isn't that sound like your spouse with attitude and personality and, you know, character that just get under your skin, get under your nerves? Romance is a part of love, guys. But love can continue without romance. And on the other hand, romance won't last without love. A good relationship, ladies and gentlemen, is a healthy place where love and romance exist, where love and romance bond together, where love and romance meet each other. Love is not something that you just fall into or it just passively happens without your control. True love is an active choice. And each day that you wake up, you make a decision that I am going to give it everything that I've got. I'm going to show up and do the work, even in moments when it's not easy. That's the definition of true love. It has nothing to do with your emotion. It has everything to do with your action. And when you act right in the marriage, when you show up and do the right things, those actions will lead to intimacy, those actions will lead to romance, those actions will lead to a beautiful, amazing sexual encounter. But you can't expect result if you're not doing what it takes to create that result. And so guys, we've come to the end of this video. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like any part of this video that kind of resonates with you, it kind of pull on you, you can leave a comment in the comment section. We will definitely appreciate that. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.